Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagabra Backpacking. And today we're gonna to be doing a review, an initial review, you know, short-term review on my newest backpack. So if you are in the market for around a 60 liter, which for most ultralighters, most people that are going, you know, as low as possible on weight, uh, it's a great size for winter. So when you're getting into true winter, where there's actually gonna be snow on the ground, the cold, you're getting below freezing and you're going to be carrying you know heavier quilts heavier sleeping bags extra clothes more food a uh, thicker sleeping pad if that's what you're using uh, a bigger tarp if that's what you're using this time of year you carry additional stuff you carry stuff to stay safe you carry stuff so that you can layer correctly and so you need a little bit bigger backpack and that's what you know, I haven't really been in an area where I needed that. But now that I've moved to New Jersey and I'm doing more here in the Northeast, I needed a pack that could accommodate what I was doing. My Light AF uh, 40 liter pack is great, but I just couldn't fit everything I needed in it. So I went on the search for a good 60-ish liter, uh, and this is what I came up with. So let's take a look at what I chose and talk through some of the features of it. All right, so here is the pack that I decided to go with. This is the Waymark 60 liter Ember pack, E-M-B-R. And so Waymark is a, a gear company out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, good friend of mine and a fellow YouTuber, Devin from Backcountry Exposure is uh, the general manager there. And Mark is the owner and started out of Mark's garage. And now they've got uh, a whole a whole place that they've got with uh, employees and everything. So it's really cool to see the growth of a, a cottage vendor starting to, to pick up. And they're producing really good stuff. So the first pack I got from them was the 18 liter Dark Sky Day Pack. Loved it. I loved the sleek design of it, just the way it carried. Everything about it was really nice. It was like the perfect package for a day pack. So uh, as I started looking for a 60 liter, of course, I went to check out what Waymark had available. I looked at what Light AF had. Really, the 46 is about as big as they go. Um, you know, I've used ULA OM 2.0 in the past. Not a huge fan of it. I know a lot of people love it and swear by it. But I decided to go this route. I decided to, to pick this up and uh, couldn't be happier with my decision, quite honestly. I've had it out on two trips now. I've got over 50, 50 trail miles carrying this so far. Uh, 20 of it in snow, a little over 20 of it in snow. And so far it has performed exactly how I would expect and how I'd want it to. Let's take a closer look at what this thing offers. So like I mentioned, this is a 60 liter pack, 50.5 liters of internal, and then the three pockets on the outside, this one, the ultra stretch fabric, and then the two very large side pockets uh, are another 10 liters. So you end up with 60.5 liters on this side. So this is a medium torso, large hip belt. Got the large hip belt, like I explained in the, the introduction video. Because I, you know, I'm carrying this for winter, and so there may be times that I'm wearing more bulkier clothing, and so having the ability to have uh, a waist belt that expands is great. So on here it's got a good lumbar pad. It's got nice wide, very wide. So look at look at how wide those hip belts are. I mean this hip belt is super wide. Uh, it's got a great amount of padding, but it's not like super soft padding. It's actually pretty firm and that helps to, in my opinion so far, has helped to transfer the weight without causing any bunching or anything around the hips, which makes it carry extremely well. I do have one hip belt pocket on here. I also have one shoulder strap pocket. Now the shoulder strap pocket I don't use for a water bottle. I know a lot of people do use them for that. Uh, I actually have my uh, headphones in here and I'll put my phone in here and so I can listen to music when I get to the point of the day that I need something to keep me going. So this is a framed pack, it has two aluminum stays in here. The, the stays are actually removable 
and then it has a 1 8 inch foam back pad. Uh, has load lifters, which a lot of a lot of lightweight companies are not doing load lifters at all. So the 60 liter having the load lifters is great. Uh, nicely padded shoulder straps. Not as wide as some of the companies out there, but that hasn't been a problem because you can transfer the weight to the hips so well. On the top, it has a roll top closure. And then one of my favorite, favorite features of this is this Y strap top closure. So it has a Y strap here that unlike other companies, uh, it has one adjustment point. So it has one adjuster, you adjust it here and then the, uh, the buckle actually slides on there to center itself, which I've, I found to be really nice. So you can adjust it there and you can adjust it on the single strap side. So if you're carrying a, a bear vault or you've got to put anything on the outside, you can secure it on the outside, cinch it down and you're good to go. You can cinch it in two different ways so that you get the buckle wherever you need it to be and you can use that Y strap to uh, really disperse the weight across there. Uh, one of the cool features on the roll top that I like is that the closure. So right now you can see that it's, it's closed up. It has about a four inch, three to four inch uh, Velcro strap in there. And so real easy to close up, especially when you've got gloves on, it's not trying to pinch any, any snaps or anything. And then you simply roll it down, fold it over, snap it, and it's closed and it should be pretty water resistant there. So the materials that are used on here are the Eco Pack. You've got the EPX 400, EPX 200, the RBC 400, and then the Ultra Stretch. And those are the fabrics that are used. It's got uh, you know drawstring cinch cords on here, and these are all shock cord. You've got non-shock cord Z cinches on the side, and what these do is allow you to uh, adjust how much volume is inside so that it still carries well. If you have a big volume pack and you've only got a little bit in there, it'll feel really loose and carry, carry very sloppily. But with these, you can really cinch it down and adjust it and it really accordions it in and makes it so that you can carry a smaller load more comfortably. These, so right here you have uh, a strap down here and a cinch cord up top. You've got two on this side and the cinch cord up here. This one is for an ice axe and these two are for your trekking poles. Now the trekking pole ones are some of the coolest ones I've seen. I've got my poles right here so we can show you. Okay, so I've got my trekking poles and there's two loops down at the bottom. And those loops are for your tips. And then you come up here and you can cinch it down. Uh, one handed, it's not, not super easy, but that's how they would sit on there is just like that. So you've got those in there and you still have the ice axe loop so you can carry both at the same time. Throw the ice axe through there. Uh, so the way that it, it goes is you put it down through like this, you flip it over, come up and cinch it down and you're secure. But really great features, well thought out and work extremely well. Now let's talk about these side pockets. These side pockets are huge. They're extremely voluminous. Uh, you know, there's, I fit uh, a Nalgene, a smart water bottle, and my B-Free along with the, uh, the Noct Vecto bag in one of these and still had room. I was able to shove uh, gloves and stuff in there as well. On the other side, I was carrying my cook kit on this past trip. I switched that up and I was carrying all of my electronics in a uh, Reflectix Cozy along with a sit pad, uh, just kind of crammed in here so that when I stopped, because it was snowing, I had something warm I could pull out and set down and sit on. Weight of this, it weighs in. Uh, this specific one, which is, like I said, medium large torso, large waist belt, hip belt pocket, shoulder pocket, weighs in at 39.05 ounces. So just over two pounds, extremely light, uh, versatile. This is, that's one of the things about this fabric is that along with being highly water resistant, it's also very, very abrasion resistant, which makes it a great pack material. So this Waymark 60 liter Ember is one of the best carrying packs I've ever owned. I think it has a lot to do with this extremely wide hip belt and the way that it disperses the weight on your hips. With the load lifters, being able to keep this up off of your shoulder, 
Uh, really, you can you can cinch down the the shoulder straps and the sternum strap and put the weight on your chest and on your hips. So it's kind of sandwiching you and the backpack without the weight going on your shoulders and allowing it to transfer really, really nicely to your hips. Uh, so far, I've been extremely impressed with that. So let's talk about comparable packs. What other packs are out there that are in this same price range, that are in this same size range? So you've got primarily the, the Ohm 2.0 is the only one really that's, that's extremely close. So price-wise, it's pretty close. Size-wise, it's pretty close. This, this costs 285 uh, on their website right now, and that's as of filming this. Shoulder pockets are $22 each. Hip belts pockets are $22 each. If you go onto the ULA equipment website, the Ohm 2.0 is, I, I think, about 265, 255, 265. Um, it weighs a little bit less and has a little bit bigger volume. So they say it's about 35 ounces and 63 liters. Now I will tell you that things like the side pockets, nowhere near as usable. Uh, I have owned a 2.0 and I did not like it. I got rid of it. One of the, uh, it's, it's nice the way that the Ohm uh, pockets are, are integrated into the pack, but they're very tight and not very usable. Just getting a water bottle in and out is almost impossible, at least for me with my bad shoulder. Uh, I had a lot of issues with that. Not a lot could be fit in there. I found that it, while it's called a 63 liter, it didn't really carry as much stuff as I was expecting it to, and it certainly didn't carry as well as this one. I, every time I used mine, even though it was fitted absolutely properly, I had bruising on my hips. No issues whatsoever with this one. So the cost is a little high, that 285, and then as you start adding things in. I guess it's not that high. It's, it's comparable to other, you know, cottage, cottage made packs that are out there, but there is a way you can get it a little bit cheaper and that's wait until they have one that's on the shelf. So they have a, a category on their website called on the shelf. And that's actually how I got this one. This one was already pre-made sitting there waiting to go out. And so I got like a, I don't know, a 10 or a 15% discount, uh, as all their packs do that are in the on the shelf category. So I didn't ask for a discount, I didn't get any special deals. Uh, this was not sent to me for free. I did purchase it myself, but rather than waiting the 14 week lead time, which is currently what they have on this pack, they have one on the shelf, it was cheaper. It was a no brainer for me. I wanted it to get out and get on the trails and I'm so glad that I bought it. All right, if you guys have any questions, any comments about this pack or any other packs that are out there uh, that I may have had, may have used, may have went with people that had, or uh, you want me to take a look at, leave them in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys checking this out. I will see you guys down the trail.